So did you st drive straight out there? So what were you thinking on the way out there? I was kind of like what I'm doing right now. I'm just like, you know, nervous, shaking, not knowing like, you know, what's going to happen. Yeah. Like I know like my life has completely changed. I don't know like what's happening. Like honestly, like I try to picture that, that whole ride, like it's like 45 minutes to an hour ride out there. And it's just like, couldn't I have like saved my girl's life? Couldn't I have done something? Why did I do that? I don't know. Right. Like this is my flesh and blood. This is like what I wanted all my life was to be a dad, just to have, you know, kids and they love me, they you know, all that and it just nothing nothing made sense. Right. Like the oil tank, nothing made sense. I'm just like, what the what are you doing? Mm -hmm. So what happened when you got out there? And out just to a place off to the site. Mm -hmm. And then. What were the girls doing when you were doing that? Just sent them back to the truck. And then what happened after that? CC was first. She did have a blanket. She had a blue blanket. A Yankee blanket. So was she alive when she went into the oil tank? No. I put the blanket over her head. And that's how she passed. Good breathe. No. I put the blanket over her head. I didn't want to. No. I strangled her right there in the back seat. Okay. What was Bella doing? She was sitting beside her. Did she understand that she knew what was going on? She didn't say anything. And then the same for Bella? Just without a blanket? With the blanket. Oh, okay. I didn't look. It's like every time I closed my eyes, I started to hear her saying, Daddy, no, and that was it. That's what Bella said. I hear that every day. You hear that? Sorry, man. You know, sorry doesn't really take anything back to that hit. I know. Is it possible that in your mind you didn't want them to suffer throughout their life? Was this like a mercy thing? I mean, you can say that like after the fact, but it was just like, I don't... You didn't feel like that during I, it? I just didn't, I felt like it was just like an anger with Shanann, with everything that I was just taking it out on everybody that was in front of me that morning. Yeah. I mean, kids growing, out with, growing up without their parents, they, I mean, depending on what grandparents or whatever they, whoever they grew up with seemed to be fine, but it was just like, it was an anger thing, it was just like... <laughs> and what were you so angry at Shinyan about? Like if you could pinpoint it. Nothing that... Nothing that makes anybody to want to do this. I mean, you could be angry at your spouse like your whole life, but you should never have done anything like this. You should never let it get to that point. But I let it get to a point where I never, I mean, I've never been angry before. Like, and this was like the epitome of being angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The epitome of like showing a rage, the epitome of like losing, losing your mind. I mean, even like some people in here said, they're like, the heck happened? You must have freaking snapped. And like, I just walk away. I'm just like, you know, it's, it's, I don't see it in my mind how it could have, like, you know, I look outside every day, I'm like, 
What could we be doing right now?